Well, there's a lot of big news going on for the Falcons as far as searching for a new head coach, but probably nothing bigger than Bill Belichick possibly being our head coach for the Atlanta Falcons. And not even just that, but they gave him a second interview. Now, just because he had a se just because he had a second interview does not mean that it's confirmed he's the head coach. Isn't Raheem Morris getting a second interview for head coach as well? So just because he has a second interview doesn't confirm he's the head coach. But a second interview also means there's a, there's a strong possibility that he could be. Now, this video is not me saying that I think he's going to be the next head coach. I'm also not saying that he will be a great head coach. This video is simply just me saying he could be a good head coach hire for the Atlanta Falcons. Could. I didn't say will. I said could. Now, we live in a weird time period because, you know, it's kind of like, well, why are we like, why are we debating if Bill Belichick could be a good head coach for the Falcons? Like, isn't he Bill Belichick? I could make this easy and say, oh, well, he's possibly the greatest head coach of all time. He has a successful history. He's Bill Belichick. He's won six Super Bowls. End of story. That's why he could be a good head coach hire for the Falcons. Like, I could make this easy, but... Um, and yes, obviously, that's one reason it obviously could work out is, yeah, Bill Belichick has had a successful history in the NFL. He's won six Super Bowls, won against us, uh, and he's Bill Belichick, like, right? Like, you know, we could make this easy and say that's why, but let's go a little deeper into it. You know, for one thing, I think people kind of, in a way, and I'm, we'll, we'll get to why I don't think 2023 was a total you know, I don't think Bill Belichick is excused from 2023. We'll get into why I do think there's some concerns about Belichick as well. But let's also not act like 2023 was also the Patriots season in like 2022. Like the Patriots didn't make playoffs in 2022, sure. But they were still kind of competitive, guys. Um, you know, honestly, the NFL never... You know, like, the, if they never added another game, the Patriots probably would have made playoffs, I think, right? Like, weren't they in the playoffs, like, the second to last week of the regular season in 2022? And had they won in the last week of 2022, they would have made playoffs. So they would have been a playoff team in 2021 and 2022. 2023 was just literally everything went wrong. Uh, so I'm basically saying, you know, Let's not act like 2023 is just Bill Belichick without Tom Brady. Like, <laughs> Bill Belichick can still keep your team at least a little competitive. At least he made the Patriots defense last year competitive. I forget specifically where they rank amongst the top 32 defenses, but the Patriots defense was still not that bad, guys, last year. They just didn't win many games. So if the Falcons are looking to improve their biggest strength right now in the defense, kind of a weird time to say, our biggest strength is defense and not offense. If we're looking to improve our biggest strength alongside a promising Ryan Nielsen at defensive coordinator, Bill Belichick and Ryan Nielsen could honestly make a pretty nasty team. Uh, obviously, Bill Belichick is someone that I think can actually bring in like a, you know, the right mindset for this locker room. If Arthur Blank is all about, you know, getting these leaders like, Calais Campbell and Jesse Bates like I think Bill Belichick would be a good leader of men uh because Arthur Smith was kind of like I think he's kind of like a wannabe Mike McDaniel in a way where yeah he thinks he's all you know he's got the mustache it's so funny oh he's this offensive guru you know he's FedEx boy I, Arthur Smith was like a guy of like some cool offensive ideas I guess but you know he didn't really know how to lead a team he didn't always know how to execute his team and his playmakers he made you know really weird personnel decisions Bill Belichick now we'll get into his decisions and you know his playmaking later but Bill Belichick I don't think anyone's denying he's a leader of men like I think Bill Belichick is a good leader for what Arthur Blank is looking for in that Falcons locker room um, I think it would make for an awesome story. Like a lot of free agents will look at this and be like, Bill Belichick to the Falcons. Like, isn't Bill Belichick the guy that traumatized the Falcons for life uh, with Super Bowl 51? Like, I guess I'll see what's going on there. Like, you know, why are the Falcons and Bill Belichick reconciling? Uh, so 
I don't know. It's an interesting landing spot. Not even just because we interviewed Bill Belichick two times. Like, we're interviewing a lot of big-name head coaches, like, or head coach candidates, like Ben Johnson, Jim Harbaugh. Like, we're interviewing a lot of big names, meaning it's an interesting landing spot for head coach candidates and potential free agents. So if Bill Belichick comes to the Falcons, yes, 2023 was a bad year for him, but I don't think the free agents are suddenly going to look at Bill Belichick and say, I don't want to play for him. Like, they still know his potential. So, so far we're at, you know, he's a successful head coach just throughout his history. He could keep you competitive. He's a good leader of men. It'd be an interesting landing spot for free agents. Um, and honestly, like, I, I was kind of joking about this. You know, I, I put on my community tab on Twitter or on YouTube, but I also put a poll on Twitter saying, you know, <laughs> would you be interested if Tom Brady came out of retirement just to play for Bill Belichick and the Falcons to have a really cool storyline of this used to be the Falcons, you know, PTSD, and now they came in to win a Super Bowl for them. And I was kind of joking about that. Like, look, I don't actually think Tom Brady's going to get out of retirement and play for us. And a lot of you guys were not into that idea anyway. But I'm just saying, like, you know, we, we do need a quarterback. It'd be kind of funny if Tom Brady came out of retirement to play for us. But Bill Belichick and the Falcons, with all these big names they're landing, we who's to say the Falcons can't recruit a good quarterback, which leads to the last positive I want to say is at least Bill Belichick's not the GM for us guys. Like, you know, Bill Belichick's personnel decisions can be weird at times, like the whole Matt Patricia offensive coordinator thing. Uh, but um, Terry Fontenot is not going to leave. The Falcons would be so stupid if they got rid of Terry Fontenot. So at least Terry Fontenot can bring in his guys and hopefully Bill Belichick can just focus on being a head coach and not the general manager. We can bring in actual playmakers, actual offensive coordinators, um, and Bill Belichick can, can just focus on being a coach because he's a good coach. I don't think he's a good GM. Uh, so, yeah, we could bring in our guys instead of Bill Belichick's guys is what I'm getting at. Now, 2023 is not a total fluke. I do think he can be a little outdated at times. You know, um, some of his play calls... We're like, you know, that worked in 2001. <laughs> it's not working here in 2024. Um, you know, yeah, sure. He's not the exact same elite coach without Tom Brady. I do think that's something to look at. Um, and obviously some personnel decisions can be a bit odd, but I'm just saying like it could work out. I think those are some things to watch out for from Bill Belichick, but at least he's not the GM Terry Fontenot can bring in his guys as well, okay? We can recruit some big names. Bill Belichick's honestly at least a good coach. Let's not act like 2023 was his whole coaching career without Tom Brady, everyone. Uh, and he's he's Bill Belichick. I mean, he has a, a successful history, but I'm not saying this will work out. I'm just saying it could, and I'm also not saying he will get hired. I'm just saying if he does, you know, th this, this could... I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, but let me let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, I keep stuttering. I keep going like, would you, would you? Anyway, thank you for watching and rise up.